This reptilian motif, known as the Serpent Mound, can only be seen from high above the Earth. Who thought the US was home to such strange discoveries? Not only did people find some strange otherworldly animals here, but they also found ancient structures and even a sphinx. You heard that, right? This week, they discovered a 300-pound head still intact after nearly a century in the sand. And those are just some of the amazing finds we have for you today. Get ready because this video will change your view of how much you truly know about the USA. Radiocarbon dating shows the carvings could be between 450 and 10,000 years old. Sit tight and let's dive right into the strangest things discovered in America to date the Hidden Sphinx Excavation. Recently, California became home to one of the strangest archaeological discoveries you will ever see. Upon getting a hint of a mysterious treasure hidden underneath the desert, the archaeologists packed their bags and made the trek to the middle of the desert for a thorough excavation. Upon digging, they found a strange stony forehead sneaking out from the sand. The group kept digging, and the cheek of a massive stony figure popped up, leaving the archaeologists curious to their cause. Once they were done with the excavation, they uncovered a large sphinx under the sand. Not only that, but it was in extremely great shape and condition. The group wondered if they had unraveled an eighth wonder of the world, or if it was the descendant of the creepy sphinx of Egypt. But neither was the case. Turned out, this sphinx was a prop from the movie set of the Ten Commandments. Only in Hollywood would you make archaeological discoveries like these. A weird mole. You must have seen a normal mole roaming in your backyard, digging with its small feet. But this particular mole found in America has a certain physical feature that sets it apart. It has a star-shaped nose instead of the long snout that you usually find on this sneaky animal. The eyes of this species of moles are practically useless. Instead, they use their weird nose for navigation. This tentacle-filled protrusion has a great sensory system and is one of the most sensitive organs in their bodies. These moles have a large number of neurons in their nose that allow them to spot which worm is edible. Since they cannot see with their eyes, the nose helps them navigate to their next meal of the day and helps them survive in the wild. That's fine and all, but why does it have to look so creepy? The Star Child Skull One of the weirdest finds that shook the archaeological world was the discovery of the Star Child. Everyone had their eyes on this unusually shaped skull that was found in northern Mexico in the 1930s. But what the scientists found is truly shocking. The skull that was asymmetrical in shape had a huge cranium, unlike that of a human child. The head was quite big, with shallow eyes and no frontal sinuses or maxillary bone. Basically, the nasal area was quite different from a normal human being. This archaeological find kept everyone on the edges of their seats because the skull looked a lot like a grey alien. This particular group of enthusiasts even took the skull to a reconstruction specialist who tried to model the face using the anatomical features of the skull. The outcome of the reconstruction showed clearly the similarities in the star child skull to that of a grey alien. There were two skulls found in the cave. One was a regular skull, while the other was that of the star child. Many people believe that the Star Child was born from a human-alien relationship. However, the genetic testing of the skull about two decades later revealed that was not the case at all. Instead, the real story is rather sad. The skull was of a child that was suffering from a disease known as congenital hydrocephalus. It causes the skull to misshapen. Because of this, the child had a very difficult life and died at the age of five. But the discovery still has the world divided into two sides, one who believes that this is the skull of a human-alien hybrid child, and the authorities are trying to cover it all up, and the other side who thinks it is an exaggerated theory set up by the UFO enthusiasts. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. The Scary Hunt of the Fishing Spider You might need a fishing rod to hunt for fish in the pond, 
But this terrifying spider found in America needs nothing. Its venom and spiky legs are enough to get a good catch in the waters. This is the fishing spider, and its magnificent appearance is enough to scare you to your core. But even more astonishingly beautiful than its physical appearance is its hunt in the pond. This species can literally walk on water. I mean, spiders are scary enough as is, but imagine one that can walk on water. With sneaky steps and careful strides, the spider slowly lets the fish come near its deadly gaze. It can detect the slightest movement made by a fish that is unlucky enough to get close. Once it spots a good enough meal and the fishes have given away their location, the spider makes a leap at them and bites down. Its poison kills the fish quickly, and then it can devour its meal. A rather unique feature of this eight-legged monstrosity is its spiky legs. They detect vibration to help it figure out what kind of prey is near. So it knows where its venomous sting will be going and obliterating the entire fish into a flavorsome meal. Its adaptive respiratory system also helps the spider breathe underwater. It is nightmare fuel for sure. Serpent Mounds, the secret heritage site of the world. You know about the seven wonders of the world, but this particular heritage site in America is one of the most unique and bizarre sites in the world. Known as the Serpent Mound, because of its snake-like shape, the structure was built over a thousand years ago. The snake terrain stretches out to over 1,300 feet and varies in height from around one to three feet. The structure ends in the shape of the serpent's head, which is believed to carry some sort of religious significance. If you look at the bird's eye view of the mound, you will spot the coiled shape of the serpent mound, starting as the tail, which then narrows down into multiple bends. Eventually, the path finds its way towards the end, with a stony figure that resembles a serpent's head. The terrain around the Serpent Mound is quite different from the trail that runs along the land. But the most interesting thing is its structure. The first layer of the Serpent Mound had a trail of stones followed by clay as the second layer. The last layer is the topsoil recovered from the surrounding areas that have now become lush green due to the vegetation. The site holds quite a lot of significance as a piece of human history and activity in the area, which is why it was nominated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And here is me thinking we should dig it up to see if there is a giant snake buried under there. The Mysterious Blythe in Taglios. If you are looking for an adventure out on the road, these geoglyphs are one of the most interesting sites to discover in America. The geoglyphs are basically land art or rock art that were created by people of ancient times. There are over 200 such geoglyphs in the Colorado desert alone, but the most significant and fascinating find is the Blythe in Taglios. Located west of the US Highway 95, it is not that hard to find the Blythe in Taglios. You can travel through all of them, but the third one has a little off-the-road route. All three of the Intaglios collectively hold three human figures, two four-legged animals, and two spirals. It is hard to determine the size and length of the Intaglios from land, but if you use a drone to see the geoglyphs from the air, you can get better insights into the amazing land art that the ancients built. The animal figures resemble a mountain lion, but some suggest that they are horses. The largest human figure in the Intaglios is a staggering 171 feet long, located at the Intaglio 3. But the best preserved human figure is found in the Intaglio 2. The Intaglios were discovered when a man was flying in the helicopter with his wife when she spotted these strange figures on land. Experts claim that the land art was outlined with rocks and the land inside was flattened out so that it could not produce vegetation. Nobody has been able to decipher why these geoglyphs were created, though. Some say they were used as dancing trails because of the many circles and patterns that were discovered there, but the actual reason still eludes us. It is fascinating to think how our ancestors were able to create such complex glyphs without ever being able to see it all from above as we can. The Legless Lizard Caught on Camera 
One of the most bizarre species found in the United States is the pink lizard. Yep, it is a lizard, even if it does not look like one. Just look at it. It is like the hybrid child of a naked mole rat and a worm. Standing tall at around 9 inches long, this strange creature slithers around like a worm and digs around the sand. The most fascinating thing about this lizard is its small arms, which would not be of much help in a fight. But they do help it move on the soil. You see, this lizard mainly lives underground and has small T-Rex arms to help it live inside the sand. Also known as the Mexican Mole Lizard, this unique species is one of only three legless lizards with two front limbs in the world. This means it has no hind legs, making it stand out from its cousins like geckos. Nature sure can be weird when it wants to be. The Hidden Treasure of the Sea Explorer In my opinion, the most interesting things are found under the ocean. This particular find is not any different. Discovered in the riverbed of the Taunton River at Berkeley, this historical treasure has quite the people intrigued about its origin. The Dighton Rock is a massive boulder weighing about 40 tons. It is 5 feet high, 9.5 feet wide, and around 11 feet long. The boulder has a weird structure because of its gigantic weight, but that is not the most bizarre thing about it. Experts have found a lot of inscriptions on the rock that date back centuries ago. The inscriptions on the rock are not clear. However, there is a legend associated with the rock. It all starts with Miguel Corta Real, the Portuguese explorer who reached Labrador and disappeared in 1502. He seems to have carved his name on the rock in the year 1511. The weird part? The dude went missing way before the inscription was made. The mystery that surrounds his disappearance seems to ignite a lot of questions. But that is just one part of the mystery surrounding this rock. It holds many more secrets yet undiscovered. There are many other figurines on the rock. Also, there is a map for a treasure that is claimed to be drawn by the sea explorers. Similarly, there are other faces on the rock too. The discovery of the rock is fascinating in and of itself. It lay half covered by the tides of the river, which is how it was discovered by the experts. How did it get there? No one is sure. After its discovery, the rock was transported to a museum to be preserved for its high value in history. Not sure that is a good idea though, because movies have taught me moving ancient mysterious artifacts only brings about curses and trouble. The Graveyard of Aircrafts This hydraulic excavator has been outfitted with a special giant claw that can demolish a once mighty MD-80 jet in minutes. What you are seeing is no ordinary airport. This is a graveyard, and not the kind that's for people. This one is for planes. I mean, have you ever wondered what happens to a plane once it has outlived its usefulness? Well, in the US, they usually end up in the Roswell Aircraft Boneyard. This site used to be the Roswell Army International Airfield during the Second World War. But today, the scenes are quite different here. A lot of the aeroplanes that have served their time towing about US citizens end up here. Most planes that come to this land of the dead are greeted by a large excavator. The aircraft is dismantled to its very core and reduced to nothing but rubble when hit by the excavators. Still, some of the planes make it out alive and are parked at this boneyard. The huge facility has now become a tourist site. You will find around 300 aircrafts parked at any time when you visit. But if you think this place is devoid of mysteries, think again. Roswell is famous for an incident that led many alien enthusiasts to believe that the US government was hiding something. In 1947, metallic and rubber debris was discovered by the airbase personnel. The US authorities came with a statement that they had found a flying disc, but later the statement was retracted, pumping the theory that they were trying to cover up a significant find of the outer world. The Worms of Outer Space When you visit Alaska, you should have the sightseeing of ice worms planned in your itinerary for the trip. Yup, you heard that right. These ice worms are the faraway cousins of earthworms. However, instead of digging around the soil, you will find these long black worms, 
slithering inside glaciers. You can spot hundreds of them gliding along their way into the glaciers, trying to hunt for algae. Mostly, they are found in the afternoons, trying to soak up the energy from the sun. Although they are ice worms, they live at an extremely low temperature. This may make many creatures sluggish, but not the ice worms. Exactly why this happened is still up for debate. Somehow, these tiny creatures have learned how to thrive in the coldest of environments, something most animals have failed to do so. Here comes the best part. These worms hibernate too. In summer, the worms come out to greet the sun in the afternoons to keep up with the drastically low temperatures. But in winter, they go into the profound depths of the snow to go into hibernation mode. These wiggly little friends of ours are strange in every way possible, it seems. Clam digs into sand. No, this is not an alien, even though it looks like one. This is the Pacific razor clam, a species of clam found in America. What makes these clams unique is that they dig. As you can see, these things can quickly dig into the sand, hiding away just beneath the surface. And they do all that with these long appendages on each end. Now you may think it is just a fascinating creature that lives unbothered by humans, but allow me to ruin that for you. Apparently razor clams are a delicacy. Yup, humans love eating these guys, sometimes even raw. The huge castle, built by a single man. This castle looks fascinating, right? Probably took hundreds of workers to build it. Nope. All this was made by just one man. The story starts in the year 1939, when a man named Jim Bishop decides to build a castle on his own with his bare hands in Colorado. For 53 long years, he poured his heart and soul into building this beautiful building. And when he was not working on the castle, he was trying to earn money to build it. Now that's dedication. Today, this giant building stands two stories tall with arch windows, unique architecture, ironworks, and a hollow room where the family plans to add a museum. It will hold all the things that have been used in designing the castle. There is also a flying buttress that sits 15 feet into the ground, holding the flying staircase in its proper shape. There is also a roof that carries multiple paintings of different artists. The only thing where the father did not have any input in the castle's construction. The work behind the castle is probably one of the most amazing things to note. It is not just the 53 years that have been put into the castle's design, but also the intricate details through which the castle was put up on the map. Jim Bishop used to drive a pickup truck and carry rocks from his surroundings to the construction site. He would then use a basket to fill the rocks and then use the pickup truck as a pulley system to carry the basket at the top. Bishop would then use a ladder to put the bricks one by one on the structure to make it look like his castle, and that is just for the foundation of the castle. Just imagine how much work went into building the whole thing. The best thing about the castle is the dragon. The massive steel dragon is made up of stainless steel warmer trays that were discarded by the hospital. The whole structure took six months to build and be put up on the castle. At first, the people used to ignore the bishop's work, but with the huge dragon's mouth poking up in the sky, it became hard to ignore the beauty of it. Today, people come from far away to behold this work of art and an effort of a lifetime. The Birthplace of Miami. Some historians considered it the birthplace of the Magic City. The site is officially called Brickle Point Site. Miami became home to a strange find when during the construction of a condo, the builders discovered multiple holes in the bedrock. Upon further inspection, they found that they had discovered something truly marvelous. The holes they found were part of an ancient structure consisting of 24 holes that made up an entire circle. The circle was exactly 38 feet in diameter, and the archaeologists believe that it was designed by the indigenous people. The site was soon deemed as the birthplace of Miami, with scientists claiming it was over 1,700 years old. After its discovery, the strange structure became a point of debate for many about its purpose and origins. Instead of letting it go to waste, the authorities decided to buy the site for $26.7 million, 
all to preserve it as a historical site. After that, it was turned into a park for the locals to visit and ponder about its origin and cause. But if you want to visit it today, it's better not to bother. The circle was buried deep under a pile of limestones to keep it preserved because the sea winds and the weather had been damaging the fragile art. So no luck getting a good look at it nowadays. Cotus, the opportunistic feeders. These mammals that are from the family of raccoons are one of the most unique animals living in the US. They are named after the way they sleep, keeping their noses inside their bellies for a peaceful nap in the forest. How cute is that? The coaters are opportunistic feeders like humans and would devour anything from small insects to bigger animals like a mouse, lizards, or even frogs. The most interesting thing about these animals is that they can rotate their ankles to about 180 degrees. This helps them climb to the top of trees with their heads navigating their path. Cotus are mostly found during the day and are considered quite social. They travel in groups of 30 and like to babysit each other's offspring. But a fascinating thing about these animals is that they have been here for a long time. In ancient folklore, you would find structures and art depicting these marvelous creatures. Oldest footprints in the US unearthed. At first, these footprints won't look like much, but that is until you find out their deep history. After a flood went over the site, New Mexico revealed a series of footprints that date back to the old times. Experts believe that they are the oldest footprints discovered in the US. From ancient camels, mammoths, and ground sloths, all of these footprints were buried under the sand. But the flood came as a blessing in disguise for the archaeologists. However, years later, a new discovery was made where the experts found more than just animal prints on the same land. Just beside the sloth footprints, human footsteps were unearthed that shook the archaeological world. It is a bit hard to decipher how old these footprints are, but they seem to put a question mark on whether the Americas were inhabited much earlier than we think they were. People used to believe that humans entered the continent about 13,500 to 16,000 years ago. But the data suggests that the footprints are from over 21,000 to 23,000 years old. That's a huge difference in our understanding of human arrival on the continents, but the evidence is still not concrete. There is one thing for sure, though. The ancient humans liked to coexist with the animals back in the day. The footprints suggest that the children used to play around puddles made by sloths and how the humans would live with the large wild animals back in those times. The quirkiest town in the USA. Just a few miles away from Boston lies the strangest city in the world. With only 6,000 people residing there, this place has some unique aesthetics. If you ever visit this town, you will find a series of broken-down rocking toy horses and plastic ponies, all sitting in a spot. Nobody, not even the locals, actually knows why these ponies were planted here, but they have grown quite fond of them now. There are about 45 toy horses arranged in a circle. The first one was placed here after being removed from a haunted house close by. But then, strangely enough, a lot of horses kept popping up and being planted at the same site. Moreover, the circle does not always remain a perfect circle. Sometimes they are knocked down, while other times they are placed in rows like a racehorse lineup. Nobody knows who actually arranges these horses in those specific shapes, but the effort is quite regular. This makes it even more of a mystery as to how and why these horses are aligned this way. Although considered a graveyard of rocking pony horses, many people find it to be a site to take inspiration from. Nonetheless, it is up to you on how you look at it. A haunted place, a location of solitude, or simply a marvel of the world that you can visit and ponder upon. As for me, I am going to go with super creepy and stay miles away from it no matter what. That's all on the most fascinating things found in the United States. Which one is your favorite thing about the country? Is it from one of these clips? Let us know in the comments and share with us the most bizarre thing you discovered while living in the US. We would love to know what you have in store for us. 
If you like this video, hit the like button and click the subscribe icon. We will be coming up with more exciting videos in the future, so don't miss out on those. Until then, have a great day.